Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also, make sure you turn off the water supply to the washer. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the top to pump hose in an LG washer. It's going to be a very easy repair, should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a Phillips screwdriver, a flat blade screwdriver, a pair of pliers, a pair of locking pliers, and some liquid soap. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new top to pump hose. The top to pump hose connects the outer top to the drain pump's inlet port. The main reason why it would need to be replaced is if it breaks, causing a major water leak. To get to the part, we need to remove the top panel. Using the Phillips screwdriver, take out the two bottom screws that hold the top brackets, then pull out the top panel and remove it from the cabinet. Pull out the detergent drawer, press the locking tab and remove it completely. Using the Phillips screwdriver, remove the two screws on the sides of the detergent drawer opening. Disconnect the pink and the white plugs from the control board. Release the harness from the two retaining clips and place the panel on the top. Open the door and using the flatless screwdriver, pry out and remove the outer door boot clamp. Remove the gasket out of the door frame lip. Using the flat blade screwdriver, open the pump filter cover in the left lower corner and remove it. Take out the Phillips screw. Using the flat blade screwdriver, pry out the filter case and remove it. Take out one Phillips screw at the bottom of the front panel. Using the Phillips screwdriver, remove the three screws at the top of the panel. Lift up the front panel to release it from the side tabs. Tilt the panel towards you, push the locking tab and remove the door lock power plug. Make sure the door boot gasket is free and then lift the front panel off the bottom hinges. Use the pump body drain holes to drain out water that is left in the washer. Using the flat blade screwdriver, turn the plug counterclockwise to release it. Place the end of the hose into the container and pull out the plug. Next, using the Phillips screwdriver, loosen up the clamp and take the hose off the tub. Using the pliers, slide the clamp and remove the hose from the drain pump inlet port. Use the pliers to slide down the clamp from the top hose and take it off. Remove all three clamps from the old holes and put them aside.
this is the old top to pump holes next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. Let's put the clamps on the new top to pump holes. Let's tighten it a little bit because it's falling off. And we can now install it. Lubricate the hose with some liquid soap for easier installation. First, put on the top part of the holes. You need to match the little tab and the cutout in the holes. Then, using the pliers, secure the holes with the clamp. Install the central portion of the holes on the top, adjust the clamp, and tighten it with a Phillips screwdriver. And now we can install the holes onto the pump inlet. Match the cutout on the hose with a tab on the pump. Then, using pliers, slide the clamp on. Looks like we're done with the hose installation, so we can start closing the patient. Place the front panel on the bottom hinges. Connect the door lock plug. and hang the panel on the locking tabs. Secure it with the three Phillips screws at the top. Install the Phillips screw at the bottom. Insert the filter case and secure it with a Phillips screw. Install the pump filter cover and close it. Place the door boot gasket around the door lip. Place half of the clamp into the groove with a spring at 6 o'clock. Place the screwdriver at 2 o'clock. Next, using the locking pliers, stretch the spring and install the rest of the spring into the groove. When the clamp is installed, tug on the gasket to make sure it's installed properly. Close the door and install the control panel. The bottom first and then push the top edge till it locks. Place the wire harness into the two retaining clips.
connect the white and the red plugs to the control board. Install the two Phillips screws on the sides of the detergent drawer opening. Slide the detergent drawer in. Place the top cover on, slide it forward to lock and secure it with two Phillips screws. Looks like we're done. Turn the water on. Plug the washer in and check if it works properly. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other repair videos available on our site, on Facebook, and on YouTube.